Well, hello everyone and you are all very welcome to today's live workshop for families and it's Paper Chain of Kabuki Actors and it is part of Heritage Week. My name is Heidi and myself and my colleague Justina will be in the background if you need any assistance. If you have any questions or you need Heather to slow down or repeat anything, please pop that into the Q&A. But without further delay, I'm going to pass you over to Heather. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the, to the Kabuki Actor Workshop. Um, we're going to be making like, paper chains today, paper chains of Kabuki actors. Um, and Kabuki theatre is a, a not as well-known form of Japanese culture um, that we're going to learn a little bit about today. Um, so you probably know something about uh, Japanese cuisine or um, maybe Japanese manga and, I think, and cartoons. Japan is very well known for these things, but it's less well known for kabuki theater. Um, and kabuki comes from the word kabuku, which uh, means bizarre or out of the ordinary. So I'm hoping that you're going to make some really weird, strange um, actors uh, in your, your paper chain people thing today. Um, so my name is Heather, and if you have any questions at all, you can put it into the, the q and I think it is, into the Q&A box, um, and I'll try and answer them. Um, and uh, thanks for coming along to the workshop, and I hope we're going to have uh, some cool and strange, bizarre uh, kabuki actors um, on our paper chains today. Um, and as well, if you're, if you're a little bit younger, you might need some help. So it can be quite hard to cut the paper. Um, so if you're a younger viewer, you might want to ask a, an adult to help you to, to cut the paper. Um, and as well, you're gonna need, so you're gonna need paper, you're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need a pencil, and then everything else is, is optional pretty much. So you have yeah, very few materials um, indeed. Um, and I am in Rathmines in Dublin today. Um, and maybe you could let me know where, where in the country you are at the moment. Um, I know before we've had people from, from all over the place, from Europe. I think there was someone from Spain at one, one of the workshops. And Galway. So lots of exotic places. So let us know if you have been at a workshop before um, and where exactly you are. Um, and then we're going to get started very soon. Um, I'm just going to change my, my camera around a little bit. Um, see properly. So, uh, um, so, yes, yeah, so let us know where you are. And then we are going to get started very, very soon. So hopefully everyone has pencil, paper, um, and a scissors. Um, and I'm just going to move my camera down a little bit so that you can see my table and what we're up to. Um, and to start with, you're going to get your piece of paper. So any paper at all, even if you just have newspaper at home, that's completely fine. You can use anything at all. I'm using A3 paper here. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to fold your A3 paper in half, lengthwise, like this. And then we're going to rip our paper in half. So you're left with this nice long piece, long piece of paper here, like so. And so, yeah, we're just putting our paper in half. And maybe if you are making this with your family, you could, you can all make one, or you can make one chain together. It's up to you. And then you can use a scissors for this, but I think it's better to rip it. But if you like, you can, you can use a scissors to cut along the line. But if you just smooth it with your, your nails, your fingers like this, well, and then if you lick it like this, 
that will dissolve the paper for you. And then it should be really easy to, to rip. Um, and this workshop is, is marking Heritage Week. So let us know if you are doing anything else for Heritage Week, or is this the first, the first thing that you are doing? Now, so I'm just gonna rip my page in half like this. And then I'll wait until, so you should have a nice long piece, long piece of paper ready to be folded into your, into your paper chain. Um, and I'll just show you, so you can use different, different bits of paper. And um, so we are, we are making a, an actor in a skirt. So originally Kabuki theater was all performed by women. Um, but then later on, due to the Confucius laws in Japan at the time, uh, it was performed by, by men who dressed up as women. So um, we will be drawing skirts or, or dresses on our, on our actors today. So once you have, and here's, here's one with a bit more decoration on it. Um, and so once you have your, your paper cut, uh, we will, you will start folding. And I see someone else has just joined. So hello and welcome. Welcome to the workshop. We are making a paper chain of kabuki actors. Um, and you can make different actors or you can do the same actor over and over. Fold it, fold it out for eternity. So it's up to you entirely. Um, and kabuki theater is a form of Japanese theater, which was performed for the common people, for ordinary people. And it showed stories uh, about history and um, about everyday life. So it was, it was different to the, to the no theater, which was much more um, about folk tales and more high culture compared with, with Kabuki. And just for the person who, who wasn't here at the very start, uh, the word kabuki comes from the verb kabuku, which means bizarre or out of the ordinary. So I hope that you're going to make some really bizarre, strange uh, actors today. Um, so if you have, and for the person that just joined, um, we just cut a piece of paper in half. So we have this nice long piece of paper, or we have two, two long pieces of paper. Probably most people are using A4. So you're going to have a, a much smaller, smaller character, but I'm using a larger piece of paper. So it's going to be, it's going to be like this. Um, and for the person who just joined, can you let us know where in the country or where in the world you are? Uh, we'd love to know. So I'm going to get started with, with my folding um, and I'm going to repeat it. So don't worry if you, if you miss a step. So first of all, we're going to fold left to right like this. And it's a little bit like when you're making origami, you want to be very, very precise and careful with your folds. So you're just folding it in half. Very simple. The last one. And then from the folded half, so from the left side, we're going to fold it in half again. And be very careful and precise again. And then again, you can use your nails to, or your fingers to make this really sharp, super sharp as sharp as you can make it, like so. And then again, we're going from the folded side, so from the left over to the right, we're gonna fold it again. Now, and then you're gonna make that really super tight again as well. There we go. And then you're left with this small bookmark 
sized piece of paper. So I'm going to put this to one side and then I'm going to make another one. So um, I'm just using the other piece of the paper that I put in half. So we are folding it in half like so. And then smoothing it out with your nails. And then I'm going to fold it in half again from left to right. And smoothing it out. And then we're going to fold it in half again. There. And then we're left with this small, small bit of paper, like so. And just make it, make the folds as, as tight as you can manage. Now, so if you have, you've gotten that far, maybe you can give a thumbs up in the, the Q&A. And we'll see that you've, you've done that. So now we've got two of these. So our next step is we are going to draw our character, but we're not going to draw the, the full character. We're going to be drawing half of our character. So we're only drawing half and then we're going to fold it. Well, so we're drawing half on the fold. So it'll, when we open it up, we have a full character. And let me show you. So we drew half on, so it's like this. This is your piece of paper. Um, and then you're drawing your Kabuki actor onto the paper, and then we're going to cut it out. And when you open it up, it looks like this. So, um, I'm going to do one Kabuki actor on here. Um, and yeah, so the Kabuki theater started in the early 17th century in Kyoto. And it was actually a, a woman called Izumo no Akumi, um, who was the first kabuki actor. And she used to perform these funny dances in a, an unused riverbed, a dry riverbed. And people saw her and liked her performances so much that they started to copy her. And that is how the, the first kabuki theater came about. Um, and yeah, it was the first dramatic performance form for normal people for common people. And instead of using masks, like you might have seen masks in other forms of, of Japanese theater, they actually use makeup and facial expressions instead of masks. Um, so it's much more, much more human. Um, and they used to comment on society in Edo period Japan. And also they would perform historical events to pass history down from, from person to person. Um, yeah, so let's draw our character. So I'm going to draw my, my first character um, on here. And remember, you're only drawing half of the person. I'm going to draw some, some nice big sleeves on there. And I'm drawing on the fold. So the so I'm starting the drawing on the left hand side, left hand side of my paper. So this is what you're looking for to start with for our first kabuki actor. Um, and I'll show you where we're cutting out. So I'm just going to mark the, the pieces that we'll be cutting. Yeah. So, so anything that is marked with, with hatching there, that's what we're going to be cutting out. We'll be getting rid of that. 
And you see, we've drawn it on the fold. So the fold is here and the edge, the edge is over here. So I'm gonna get my scissors now and I'm gonna cut out anything that's marked in dark here. Now, and you might need some help with this bit. And um, because the, the paper is quite thick, so it, uh, it can be tough to, to cut it out. But you can give it a go yourself first. And then if it's too tough, you might ask someone to help you with it. And have any of you seen any theater that you really, really liked? And if so, what was it? It was probably a while ago, I would imagine. Um, given, given the world today. But if you did see any theaters, did you see, was it kids theater? Or was it, was it a very serious play? Um, you can, you can write it in Q and A if you did. Um, if there's anyone here from Galway, I know Galway is a wonderful place for theatre. Uh, I'm going to going to Galway myself to see a real live play in September. I can't wait. Be the first play I've seen in a long time. Um, and it's by Enda Walsh. If anyone is in Galway, you probably know who it is. <laughs> and it's called Medicine. I think there's still tickets to watch it on Zoom if you did want to watch it. Now, so I have cut out all the dark bits, the hatching from my from my um my kabuki actor. So this is from here. So once you have gotten that bit done, um, then it's time for the fun bit. So then you're gonna open it up. So open up your, your half person into a full, full human right there. We got one full human and then we're going to open it up again. Oh, oh my God. We've got two, two full humans, two full Kabuki actors. And then we're going to open it up again. Oh, and we've got four, four Kabuki actors all in a row. So. Hopefully that worked out for everyone. And um, if it did, you can, you can tell us that it worked. Um, and if it didn't, you can also let me know and I can, um, I can go through it again. So what we're gonna do with this for everyone who, who has gotten this bit so far, I'm actually gonna fold them back up. So I'm folding them up again. So we're back to one and then I'm folding it back in half like so. And then I'm going to my other piece of paper, the other half of the paper that we, we folded earlier. And I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to trace around it so that we, we can make another one. Yeah. So I've just traced around my, my actor and again, it's on the folded side and I'll just mark where I need to cut. Now, so I just need to cut here like so. And we're pretty much just doing the same thing again. So hopefully everyone has gotten that first one done and you should have four people. Um, and yeah, you're about to, about to make some more. So I'm just cutting this out very carefully. Okay. 
Um, and I wonder if um, Izumo Noakumi, if she knew that she was going to create a whole new genre of, of theatre when she was dancing in the riverbed. What do you think? Did she realise the impact she was going to have? Or not? And have any of you invented anything? Like a new way of drawing? Or a new way of making music? Or a new dance? There's always new dances. There's yeah, or new, new moves. Yeet, yeeting is a, a new dance move <laughs> that young people like doing. <laughs> do any of you know how to yeet or do you know what that is? If so, let us know. <laughs> okay, so I've just cut out my, my, my second bit of paper here. Um, so I've got one guy or girl, two guys or girls, and I've got four. And I'm going to stick them together into, so that we've got eight, eight in a row. Now, so this is where your sellotape comes in. If you've got sellotape, uh, you can grab your sellotape. Now. So they're all the same because we traced traced around it. So you could use cell tape or masking tape, or if you have any, any pork or pigs at home, pig bones, you could boil them up and make glue. And you could use the glue to stick the paper together. But I'm not sure that we have time for you to do that. <laughs> but if you want to do it after the workshop, could, you could do that. So I just have a little bit of cell tape and I'm just gonna stick stick my actors together here. Like so. Oh, that's my, my dancing Totoro. So um, yeah, 400 years later and Japan continues to create amazing art and culture. Does anybody like Hayao Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli films or have you seen any? Um, I personally love them. They are so wonderful. Or has anyone ever visited Japan or would you like to go? If so, you can visit the, the Studio Ghibli studio, which would be amazing. Okay, so now we should all have eight, eight Kabuki theater actors and now you can decorate them. So you can decorate them in however, whatever way you wish. So I'd recommend doing different ones, different expressions. So the makeup and the, the facial expressions of the actors is really important. So why don't you do a different facial expression on each, each actor? So this, this one that I've, I've done already is looking very, very serious. So this is a serious based actor. Um, and you can see I've also put I've also put um, a thing on top here so that you can you can hang it up. And um, so actually, maybe we'll do that before before we decorate. So does anyone have a hole punch at home? If you don't have a hole punch, so this is what a hole punch looks like. And um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a sharp pencil to to pierce a hole in uh, in your actor. So I'm actually going to do two today. So one in the arm and one at the bottom of the kimono. So, and I'm going to do it on both sides as well. So this will allow you to hang it up. So you could hang it up from windows in your house or, or 
over through a doorway. There, be nice. And if you've got some string, you could use string. I actually have um, pipe cleaners. So I'm going to use pipe cleaners for my one. And then you can just make a little circle with your string or with your pipe cleaner so that it's easy, easy to hang it up. Um, and if you would like to see some beautiful images of Kabuki Theatre, you can come into the Chester Beatty and you can have a look at our new exhibition, um, which has just the most beautiful, beautiful prints full of life and energy and kabuki actors <laughs> um, and color they're so colorful and vibrant and beautiful so yeah i'd really recommend coming in and having a look at the exhibition in real life um, and then hopefully we'll be having workshops back in the gallery at some point in the near future and um, shouldn't be too far away too far away now so we'll be able to give you all the materials as, and you won't have to go scrambling around your house looking for, for art materials. <laughs> you can just come in and, and do the workshop there. So that should be yeah, someday soon. So I've just put my um, holders on the sides of these. So that means that you can, you can hook it up uh, to a window or a door. Uh, in your house. So I'm now I'm going to start decorating my my actors, um, and yeah, I'm going to take my own advice, and I'm going to do different different facial expressions um, on each actor. Start with, start with happy. Um, or have any of you put on any theater or plays over, over the summer? Um, have you put on any plays at home for your family? That is something that I used to do all the time when I was younger. And it was great fun. And if so, do you, do you dress up? Do you have costumes that you wear? Should do that. So let's make a Okay, so we've got our first our first Kabuki actor, and he's very happy with a smile. And um, maybe I'll add makeup afterwards. So for the minute, it's just just facial expressions. So they didn't wear masks, unlike in, in the no theater. Um, they relied on makeup and and facial expressions uh, to to act. Um, and yeah, we would really love to see all the things that you're making and your, your decorations. So when you're finished your paper chain, if you can send us a picture. And so Heidi just put her email address up in, in the chat box. So you can, you can email us and we will have a look at it because we'd love, love to see them. Love to see what, what you're making.
So then we have confused face. <laughs> this one is confused. I was going for angry, but it turned out confused. <laughs> Um, and maybe you can also think about what sort of a play are these kabuki actors involved in? What's the story of the play? And uh, what is happening? So as I said earlier, kabuki theater is about ordinary life. It's not about the, the folk tales or the, the huge dramas um, in Japanese mythology. So you can think about your own, your own life. What would you make a play out of in your own life? Is there anything, anything exciting that you would turn into a play? Or would you make a Marvel superhero play if you could? What sort of a play would you make if you could make a play? Hmm. So we've got happy, confused, maybe I'll, I'll make sad. Sad, sad face. And then I will add clothes, clothes and color to these guys. If you have any other paper, you can you can use the other paper to to make clothes for them as well. So actually, I'm going to use I've got some origami paper here, and um, so I'm actually going to make clothes for the actors out of the origami paper. So keep going with the with the facial expressions. Keep making the facial expressions for them. And I'm going to trace my trace my actors onto the the origami paper, and then I'm going to cut it out. Um, and you could even you could make mini if you have origami paper at home, you could make a mini paper chain uh, from your origami paper. Be very small, but. Would be nice. Okay. And again, if you need help with the with using the scissors, make sure you ask someone to help you. Okay. So And I heard today that the heat wave is coming back. So next week, we should be uh, out of rainy August and back into the sunshine. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed for that. <laughs> now, so I've just made um, some clothes for one of, my, one of my kabuki actors. And I've got lots of different origami paper so I could make 
slightly different different outfits for each one. I'm going to put this one on anyway. Just turning it back around. Dun, dun, dun. And then you could use sellotape to stick this on, or you can use uh, some, some glue. If you took my advice earlier and you started to make your own glue, <laughs> that would be impressive. <laughs> now. Yeah, and as well, you don't have to stick the, if you don't have any colored paper or anything, you can't, you don't have to stick clothes on, you can just draw the clothes, that's completely fine. So, here is the, the start of my, my clothed uh, paper chain. And I might just finish, finish some of my expressions before I make new clothes for them. So let us know how you're getting on. Have you got all your expressions? on or are you working on the clothes which one are you doing This one is an excited face. It looks kind of crazy. Anger. And I think I'll put in some some females as well. So they're not all all male. Yeah, so originally it was all female actors. Um, and then it was younger, younger males. And then after that it became mainly male actors. Older, older male actors. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the ones that you guys are making. Um, I think they will be brilliant. So I've finished all my, my expressions. So we've got eight, eight uh, Kabuki theater actors in a row. And then I'm going to finish my, my clothes and then I'm going to add some color to, the, to these guys. Um, and was anybody at my bookmark bookmark workshop for the week? That was fun. I hope you're using your book, bookmarks 
you guys sent in loads of photos of the ones that you made and they were amazing. They were so cute. I love them. You made star monsters and lots of other monsters too. They were great. So well done. Well done on them. So yeah, you can definitely, you can just draw the outfits for your, your characters or you can do what I'm doing which actually I think is much easier to be honest. So I'm just putting out the, the nice material from this beautiful paper that I have, which was sent to me by my friend in Hong Kong because there's lots of beautiful Japanese shops that sell gorgeous origami paper. And um, so she sent me some. And it's just divine, beautiful paper. Yeah, and I'm excited to know what type of actors you're making and what is the play that they are going to be performing in. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe you have a specific idea about these eight kabuki actors. And maybe, maybe if you perform some magic, they will come to life and they can put on the play for you. That'd be great. <laughs> Do let us know if that happens. Because that would be uh, that would be wonderful. Okay, so I've just got another another outfit ready for one of my actors. The sad one. I don't know why he's so sad because he's got a beautiful outfit, but it is the sad one. Yeah. So that's number two and a half with clothes. The last few I will trace at the same time so that I have all the clothes ready to go. Um, and yeah, do come along to any of our other workshops that we have on for Heritage Week. And also, if you're close to Dublin, if you, so if you can, come into the exhibition and have a look at all the beautiful prints that we have. There's even some, some Hokusai prints in there. And probably you all have heard of, of Hokusai because he's the only artist who has his own emoji. If you know the wave emoji on your phone or on your parents' phone, and um, that is after the great wave of Kanagawa by Katsushika Hokusai. So that's pretty impressive. Imagine being the only artist with your own emoji. So I've just put, I've just traced, um, traced some more clothes. And then I'm going to put these together so that I have all my clothes ready to go.
with one arm decanted on the paper. And three. So it's a dress with three arms. So it is. So I'm just going to stick these on. And I hope all of your kabuki actors are going well as well. So we will finish up in about five minutes. So if you're if you're still drawing on your facial expressions, I say do it, do it as quick as you can so that you have them finished and then do take a picture and send us a photo of them because we would really love to see what it is that you're making so i'm just sticking some glue on the front of these guys get all glued up Then I'm going to put on some clothes. No, so we've got a nearly fully clothed troop of Kabuki actors. And I just want to do one more, one more half, half an outfit here. Okay. Okay, everybody. So this is, oh, maybe I'll add a little bit of color. We have a few minutes, three minutes. I'll just add a little bit of red onto my, my faces.
So this is the makeup. So they didn't wear any masks at all in this form of theater. So they relied on, on facial expression and, and makeup. So you might want to put some, some extreme makeup onto your characters. Okay, so I hope everybody had fun making their, their paper chain of Kabuki actors. And um, here is my, my finished chain of actors. And they have these bits at the end to hang them up from. So you can hang them up for in your room or, or between a door, between, between two doors um, like this. And you can see all their, their fabulous outfits and their their different expressions and their, their different makeup. This, she looks particularly crazy, that lady in the middle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope everyone had fun and thank you. Thank you so much for coming along um, and hopefully we'll see you again at another workshop very soon.